Today, we have again the pleasure of speaking with uh, the Honorable Michael Tibolo, Associate Minister for Mental Health and Addiction. Welcome, benvenuto. Grazie, it's a pleasure to be here. Minister, I understand that there is a big investment, a big investment in these days. Yes, well, what we're doing is we're fulfilling our commitment to invest $3.8 billion over 10 years in mental health and addictions. And uh, last uh, week, I announced an additional $176 million being invested uh, this year for mental health and addiction supports in the province. Can you tell us more, uh, some, some more details about this investment? Sure. What we did was, um, as uh, we've discussed in the past, there are gaps in the system. Access points uh, are an issue. Uh, the system is fragmented. It's not working together. So what we're looking to do is make investments to build a system that's connected. So the first uh, announcement, the $174 million, went to uh, fill some of those gaps. The $176 that's being announced now, and we're announcing it in, in, in sections. So the first money that was invested was for addictions and supports for people with addictions. So hiring more nurse practitioners, uh, ensuring more community-based programming, and, and things like that, more psychiatric beds in KMH to support uh, those that need those beds. What we're trying to do is we're trying to fill those gaps and slowly expand the system so that we provide the appropriate supports to people when and where they need them. Minister, uh, addictions, uh, mental health problems, have they really worsened during this pandemic? Well, as you can imagine, we have kids that are or are not going to school. We have uh, women that were career, you know, had careers that are now at home and, and man, trying to manage being teachers, being mothers, being parent, being uh, spouses, being partners. Uh, we have individuals with businesses that um, as a result of the COVID-19 and the orders that have been made by the province aren't able to go to work and they're struggling uh, financially. We have seniors that are isolated. Um, we are experiencing more mental health uh, uh, problems and the addictions have also um, gone up. For all those who are experiencing these problems, uh, some words of advice from you. Well, for me, uh, I keep on, I always say the same thing. You have to try to maintain as much normalcy as possible in what you do each day. You have to have a routine. You have to get up in the morning. You have to look for positive things in your day. And you know, this pandemic is not gonna go away unless we all work together. My biggest concern is that, you know, we had, we just, had Thanksgiving and a lot of people felt the isolation as a result of not having their families present. But when the numbers keep increasing, we have to remember if we don't sacrifice today, this is going to continue on. And I do not want to have this be the situation at Christmas this year. I mean, Christmas is a time, regardless of your ethnicity, your, your culture, your religion even, we all seem to celebrate that time of the year as a time of family, as a time of friendship, as a time of socializing. And I'm, I'm, my concern is that if we don't work hard now to curb the, 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 the growth of the pandemic, what we're going to start to see is that we're going to have to start imposing more restrictions. And that's not something anyone, not our government, not anyone in the province wants to see. So I urge everyone uh, watching that please maintain your social distancing from other people, reduce as much as possible contact with other people in social settings and maintain the numbers that we've suggested of 10 indoors and 25 outdoors. Let's work together to try to curb the growth of the pandemic, the growth of positive tests and get it under control so that we can all have the pleasure of having events at Christmas where we can see each other and socialize. Of course, the LA Media Group is very happy to help spread the message, the information, not the virus. And you've done a great job. And I thank you for the opportunity to constantly being given uh, the chance to come and to speak about uh, COVID-19, the measures that our government is taking, um, and, and being a partner with us to ensure that people understand the importance of social distancing and doing everything we can to eradicate this, this, this terrible, terrible uh, uh, virus. Minister Tibolo, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. It's always a pleasure, Antonio.